Hi, my name is Bridget Mackay. I'm an attorney and I practice in Petaluma, California. I practice in the area of wills, trust, uh, estate planning, probate, and trust administration. And welcome to my video blog. I'm going to talk today a little bit about healthcare directives. I'm answering a question, surprisingly, that I get from uh, when I'm in sessions with clients. Uh, and they want to know what a healthcare directive is because there's a lot of other things out there that sound like the same thing but aren't. For example, pulse, which are physicians' orders of life sustaining treatment. There's a document out there called the Five Wishes, um, Living Wills. None of those are healthcare directives. And why is that? Um, that's because a healthcare directive is a written authorization or a written document that gives another person the ability to make healthcare decisions, all kinds of healthcare decisions, any kind of healthcare decision for that person when they can no longer make their own. So unlike the other documents I mentioned, those are all instructions to physicians, to their healthcare agent to others about how they see end-of-life decisions occurring and what their wishes are around them. Which is very different than saying, I want you to be the person to make decisions about me and my health when I need it. So often healthcare directives um, can be quite simple and just give the authority to your agent. Uh, sometimes there's some language in there about what your uh, philosophies about life are, whether you um, whether you want quality of life over quantity of life. And then I've also seen healthcare directives that are very specific uh, regarding how decisions are made, when they're made, and with what information they're made. So um, the bottom line is, is healthcare directives, or power of attorney for healthcare is, is what it used to be called, or also commonly called, is an essential piece or an essential document everyone should have, even if they don't have a will or a trust.